Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel family. Y'all already know what time it is. Gang gang, we in this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do. It's funny how the AC just turned off for in time. But, um, so I'm going to discuss how we are living in the matrix and how a lot of things will be done in order to, um, keep you from ascending and keep you from, uh, being on your spiritual journey or spiritual path to wherever it is. So uh, we have a lot of upper, uh, who they believe to be elites that um, try to control things. If you are one of the chosen ones, um, they do try and control you in some magnitude if you are not going with the agenda. And, um, as we know, these people own a lot of these, all of these companies. So, um, if you are ascending and you are on a different frequency than what these people are on, um, which all of us are, um, it's one of those things to where they will try to do little things to piss you off and put you in certain circumstances and predicaments and that's the same exact thing that I went through um a couple months ago before I ended up moving down south um I had a lot of situations to where I was having like family members that was body snatched and um my car I was fixing it and I got it fixed and everything all I needed was one part and come to find out, none of the stores had that one part. I got all the parts. None of the stores had that one part. Um. Then I had my car up and running. And, like, I let my um stepdad come and tamper with my car. Next thing I know, my car stops running. And I'm like, that is so weird because I just had it running. But, like I said, a lot of people um get body snatched. And uh, you just have to watch who it is that you allow around you. Um, a lot of times, us chosen ones end up having to take the harder route and doing a lot of things by ourselves. Um, and it's one of those things to where, you know, just because we get tired of those individuals having control, we end up having to do a lot of things by ourselves. But it becomes one of those things to where, okay, um what's going on here whenever you have issues with like your uh your banks and things like that because um that's another issue I had before I came down here randomly um somebody shut off my bank card and I'm like I didn't do that like who shut off my bank card um, so I had just found out that, like, the, um, like, last week that I still had, like, funds from my YouTube check on my bank card, and it had just got shut off, and I'm just like, that's so weird, like, nobody authorizes, how does this happen, but apparently... They said it was for uh, fraud prevention. They said it was for fraud prevention. And I'm just like, um, how? I'm using my card in the same state to where I had it. Nothing changed. Nothing switched up. It's not like I was doing anything crazy. The only thing I was doing was buying food. And y'all shut it off. Like, what? So, uh, they will do the most in order to keep you from ascending and doing what it is that you need to do. And it's crazy because, um, you know, a lot of times, um, people will have, uh, these type of vendettas whenever it comes to, like, a relationship or something, but it's like, I don't know. I've never seen so many people be so ready to uh, insert themselves into something where a person is 
clearly, uh, especially in, it, it's very rare that you see people race and insert themselves in a situation where a person is pregnant by somebody else. Like that's, it's like, what are we doing here? But, um, I don't know. It'd be a lot of weird stuff going on, especially if you're one of the chosen ones, you'll see them like, say for instance, if you go to a store or something like that, they'll either try and um, scam you or they'll try and like upcharge you or you might just get kicked out the store. Um, I had that happen because I was too spiritually aware of the witchcraft that was going on. So I ended up getting kicked out the store. Like dude got upset because... I wasn't having it for what he was doing. Like, I had ordered something, and then here comes this part of the Matrix. Here comes this chick, order some wraps, but, like, he was, like, setting it. Like, they do certain stuff. They'll set it up to where, like, it's a spell being done, even while you're checking out. And so I had, like, pushed her stuff aside. I'm like, uh, that's not going to be next to my stuff. So he ended up getting upset, told me to get outside. I mean, told me to get out the store. And my husband was with me. And at the time, he didn't understand. He was like, why you get kicked out of the store? What's going on? And I was like, my energy was too strong for what was going on. Like, that's the only way to explain it. But it was one of those things where I already seen, like, the witchcraft and the spell being done. So I already had, like, just removed it. And they don't like that if you're one of the chosen ones and you're able to see what they're doing. And you start messing up their little spells and rituals and things that they have set up. Oh, that really bothers them and it was like every time I was able to see everything that they was doing so um that's another thing like they like to do uh it doesn't even matter where like if they know that you're about to be in a location they will set up a spell real fast I'd be like who who did this this quick like I'm telling you say for instance they know that you about to um go somewhere and more than likely at that place you're going to use the bathroom you'll see like toilet paper sitting on the floor it'll be like pee already in the toilet or something like that like it, it'll be a whole bunch of weird stuff and you be like and you won't think about it but if you like can see you'll see what's going on um was another instance like last time me and him was um, chilling outside and there was one set up like they had set up a spell because they know that a certain uh, bench was where we were sitting at so they put like beer cans underneath there they'll put like a tissue underneath there um, they hung up some like stuff on a tree like it gets real weird whenever it comes to these people utilizing witchcraft like it gets real weird but like I said, they'll even do it in front of you, like at the store and stuff. Like that's why I ended up getting kicked out on one of the gas stations because he had did some witchcraft in front of me and I was like, uh, heh, nope, clear that, <laughs> clear that. I'm checking out y'all. No, y'all not finna do this right now. Clear that. So he got upset <laughs> because I don't play it. Like as soon as I see it, that's whenever I just, I remove it. So, um. They don't like me in that aspect because I'll be quick to see it and quick to remove it. But, uh, yeah, so we just have to realize that we're living in the Matrix. And it's a lot of craziness that goes on in terms of people's mental um, health not being all the way there. And that's what I've learned um, is that people aren't all the way there whenever it comes to their brain or upstairs. So a lot of people suffer from um, mental health issues and um, personality disorders and all types of psychosis and schizophrenias and things like that. And um, a lot of time it's these elites that are in power that are the ones that are suffering from these diseases. And, you know, it's one of those things that they don't tell nobody they have so much money that, um, you know, they don't tell anybody. And um, they end up dealing with it in some of the ways that a lot of upper elite people deal with. Um, their problems is through drugs. 
So some of the decisions that they make are irrational. Uh, whenever it comes to the chosen ones. And yeah, just know that. So I've dealt with a lot whenever it comes to dealing with the Matrix and these upper elite people. So like to me, it's like nothing surprises me. Like they're always desperate for like the chosen one's attention. And they just be like, but they want to bring out the negative in the chosen ones because they know that we're so powerful that whenever we're in bad energy, we're able to transmute it. And um, they like to feed off of that. And it gets to be annoying, but it's one of the things that they like to do. So yeah, um, well, on your spiritual journey, I'm not saying for you to be happy about everything, but just be, just be glad that you're not in certain positions as other people to where you're dealing with uh, these mental health issues that they deal with on a daily basis because um, life could be way worse <laughs> as we see. But yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm about to lay back now because I got work in the morning. And um, I'll be having to deal with my boss. And I need to make sure that everybody's on their P's and Q's come tomorrow. Because we're not dealing with no fuck shit. And that's on game. So anyways, peace. I'm out of here.